Hello and welcome. I'm the Restless Kaiser. I'm Peter Sonovic. And together we are Morning, Morning for, for Advantage. Advantage. I love that you do that for us. So we are here at Battlefront Europe HQ in Nottingham with the delightful, young and handsome Peter Siminovich to talk about what we got to expect from Battlefront over the next year. This year, a lot of stuff is quite quite soon to be released. Many new things. And you're going to share some sprues with us today. Yes, they're all which here is, in front of us. Lots of them tanks. are here in front of us. Um, so uh, for the benefit of the viewers, I'm going to try and cover as many of the major battlefield ranges. I've prepped Pete. He's got his notes. He's going to need to look off camera because there's so many things to do, right? So yes. should we start just when we were here last year? You told us about a, a lot of things that were coming, some we could share, some we couldn't share. Yep. We've seen Clash of Steel come out and that whole range of tanks that people know mainly from games like War Thunder and World of Tanks rather than history. Um, but it's been it's been a great game. I mean, we saw it being played at some shows. Clash of Steel going very well? It's going very well for us. The uh, freestanding display units, there's a couple here. It's out of shot. They're going very well. They're selling very well. People like it. It's it's a game where you make your own history. Uh -huh. You make you paint your tanks how you want to. You do, and history the history is in the player's hands. It's not actually a his history. Mm. It's based on all historical vehicles, and that makes it fun. Mm. But that's as far as the history goes. Then it's a made up history of possible outcomes. Um, and it's just about uh, having fun with great looking miniatures, the, you know, all this modern stuff, all the stuff that could have been built, should have been built, um, is just great. Um, and I think that uh, we always wanted to do, do these mm. and, um, and we've done them. And it's, I think it's just given, I've seen lots of stuff online, people painting them like in different schemes and different and, and it, plans. And you've got that space, right? Because it, it didn't happen. Correct. So, so if you, you want to do, do what you, you want. want to do one of these kind yep. of urban camouflage looks or yep. you want to experiment with oils because you're sick of painting in Dunkle Gal, yes. you can do all of that. Yes. Sorry, Mike, what? Uh, are you, I've done Sharpies. Sharpies yes, over mate. there, yes. The thing is, this is... Yes, we own the rules, we own the plastic moulds, but we don't own the hobby. I've already said this, mm. you guys out there own the hobby. And this is a hobby that you can, that you're not restricted by history. You're only restricted by your own imagination. And I think that's the, one of the great things about Clash of Steel is you can do whatever you want with your tanks. There's no wrong way to paint them. There's no wrong way to do all that stuff. I've seen somebody putting two guns on mouses and stuff and then using the one of the upgrade cards to signify that. Right. And it's yeah. Cool. You can, yeah. yeah it's, it, it's out there for you to do what you mm. want to do. Yeah. It's your Which, hobby. And the grognards have got nothing to say because it didn't happen. Well, I, the grognards of us old grognards, and I'm probably one of them, we've always got something to say. Right. Um, but it, it, we also got to stand back a bit and enjoy, and we can enjoy it as well. Mm. Because it's not, there's a great thing to play history and stuff. We're going to talk about history. We've got some early war stuff to talk about today. Mm, definitely. And lots of other stuff that are actual history. But this is not the history, but this is something else. So you mm. can enjoy both. Yeah, yeah. So you, you had the Clash of Steel come out, which has expanded the range. And those vehicles, I think what we've seen in Clash of Steel is already in World of Tanks. But I think World of Tanks has, has gone a little bit further forward than Clash of Steel yet. Yes. So can we start by talking about, at the moment, those of us just on the, on the, the buyer side, we've got the launch boxes and some Missouri things. And it was great to see that you gave us all of the potential units for that army. You gave us cards for them in the yes. box. So we could just port them straight in. But are we going to see more? For, are we going to see army books or new periods or new theatres? Yep, and I'm going to work on my notes here. Um, you're going to see the Wave 2 of Clash of Steel, which is called... Um, sorry. It's all right. It's, it's kind of eluded me. Global Uprising, which is set in Global the Uprising. 50s. Right, so is, we're rolling forwards five, uh, three or four years. Yes, so there's three releases, but they're all independent. They're not dependent on each other. Right. So the 44 history... Mm. of Operation Unthinkable mm. um, is not, that didn't necessarily happen for the next book and, and for the third release. Right. 
that three alternative moments and yes, an alternative history, history. And they could have all happened. Only one of them could have happened. They're all, they're all, none of them are reliant on each other. They're points in time. Yeah. If that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Um, so the Balfour multiverse, you heard it here first. Multiverse, yes, very good. Um, <laughs> um, we got two new starter sets come, coming out. Um, Same four standard factions, British, American, German. Yes. And Russian, yep. stroke Soviet. Yep, and uh, the Wave 2 is coming out. See, lots of them you can see here. The M48, mm -hmm. the M103 for the Americans, Charitia, Conquerors for the British, E100, Scorpion G for the Germans, and IS-7 for the Soviets. Um, of course, there's some existing models we're going to use too, the Centaurians for the British, mm -hmm. and the T-54-3 for the Soviets. The starter sets are a bit different for Operation Unthinkable. We had American and Soviet, and we had British and German. Now we're going Soviets versus British and Americans versus Germans. You've got lots of cool stuff coming in those two new boxes, mm -hmm. same as those. You've got all the, they got the same principle, going to have the game in there, the same cards. All the cards you need, everything for the whole release for that. There's going to be a playset. Yes. A two player playset. Well, a two set of player set right. with everything in there. The game basically relies on someone buying the starter set because that's the rules in there. Yep. And that is all the stuff you need to play the mission in there mm. and the alternative and the upgrade cards. Everything's in there you need mm -hmm. um, for. Yeah, so someone, one of your group, or hopefully all of you, will buy one of the starter sets because they're yeah. great deals as well. Oh, and then, yeah, and then you deals. can then you reinforce your army with the uh, with more with more miniatures. Mm. Of course, everything in Operation Unthinkable Wave One is available again in Wave Two and further on in Wave Three. Yeah, yeah, and will we see a phasing out in Wave Two of the because it's later of some of the late world war two things or, or is it just it's just a growing it's a list? growing thing i think is in a natural sort of extent um you will use less and less of the world war two things yep. so you can use them uh they're in they're going to be in a separate so in book two the book one sets will be in there the army list will be in there but there is an add-on to your book two lists Right. So the, one of the things I really liked about Clash of Steel was the fact that you got an army booklet in the box. Yes. Oh, as uh, we've got one, yep. one to wave. Here's uh, one here. And they were set. You didn't get one booklet in the box. You got to give the other booklet to the other guy. You, Correct. Same with right down to the build instructions were separate. Yes. You didn't have to tear any pages out or whatever. It's like, yeah. you take those bits. I'll take these bits. We may come up, we'll play a game. That's the whole idea. Everything's in the book you need for yeah. two of you to play the game. And hopefully you'll buy some more platoons yeah. and some more units and add to it. But you don't need anything else. Everything to play the game including all the cards and everything else you need yes. is in all the tokens and the t and the victory point markers yep. and the yep. and the but you're only paying about three pound a tank when you buy the set so you're not you don't need to feel like you're wasting any money They're good as, value. A, as a punter yeah. now starter yeah. sets are always good value that's Absolutely. our principle the starter sets should get you yeah started yeah, and yeah. Um, they should be good, good, good value. We want you to get in into the game, and then mm. hopefully and have you'll a good enjoy experience it. of that yeah. game. All right, so that's that's Clash of Steel. Are, are you able to give us a time frame? Um, will we will we get this in our Christmas stockings? Clash of Steel Wave Two is coming out in October. October. There you go. Well and truly in time for Christmas. And a uh, uh, Clash of Steel Wave Three will be in May next year. Right, so it's, it's it's quite condensed then. Yes. We're going to see this all within within a 12-month cycle, yep. everything we're going to see for Clash of Steel. Yes. So Very I nice. think that's a, uh, I think it's important to get it out there, get things going. Mm -hmm. And then Global Uprising is set in the, is set in the 1960s. Okay. So, so the Team Yankee guys, will be, there'll be a lot more stuff there, Will there, that might get retrofitted into some of the Team yes, Yankee Yes, you've got settings. the Chieftains and that sort of stuff start getting yeah, retrofitted. And, and, right. And so there might be new books for Team Yankee. But we'll, we'll talk about Team Yankee later before we go down a yeah, rabbit I, I, hole. Yes, I think that's, a, uh, that's, that's wise. The other thing, mm. the other thing really, and that's coming out the month after book two, release two comes out for Clash of Steel. Mm -hmm. 
is the War of Unification, is the book and the card packs for late war Leviathans. Right, which is your Flames of War yep. semi Paper Panzer stuff. Correct. And that's got some really exciting stuff in it too, because it's got more than just Clash of Steelers or plastic. Yeah. Nothing but plastic. That's what it's based around. And it's a self contained game that yep. you put those limits on. Yes. Right? It, yeah. Now, release three of Clash of Steel doesn't really fit into World War Two, no. So that's where we've kind of drawn the line. We've said Late War Leviathans will end with Clash of Steel. Two. Two. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. But also, you're really stretching the feasibility by this correct. point, presumably. Well, we're stretching it already, I think. But <laughs> yeah, let's, yeah. Let's, you know, let's not get caught up with that. Yeah. But there's some cool stuff coming out. And uh, so we've added other things with it. And obviously things that would never make the plastic mark would right. never be. Like, you know, let's talk Hornet guided anti-tank weapon. Let's talk right. Saracen. Let's talk 120 millimeter... BAT recoilless rifles, Jeeps. Let's talk Katushin, Katushin armored, armored personnel carriers and all sorts of other things are going to come out mm -hmm. with, with the um, late war Leviathans. And that gives people, it's more options to play more stuff in Flames of War games. Yes. Now, for those that haven't used these kind of aspects of Flames of War before, these are going to be coming in resin with metal or cyoplast parts. Yes. What I, what I would say about, about it, I mean, I'm not a big fan of the resin stuff, but I, I did get a look at what you've done with the new, you've redone a lot of the resin kits when you did these D-Day boxes, yes. which are just off here. The, if you get, last used resin 20 years ago and didn't like it, the newer resin kits are much sharper, aren't they? We've put a lot more effort. Evan's done a huge amount of work mm. on the resins, redone them for the 80th anniversaries mm. uh, releases, and they're a lot better now. Yeah. Yep. So and you're not uh, going to spend half an hour filing it no, level or anything? I, I like. think that we've got a lot. We've got that. Yeah, no, we've learnt. It's 20 years. We've got a lot yeah, older. Yeah. Yeah, and absolutely. They, uh, and hopefully a little bit more wiser. So, and the and the detail stuff. is sharper in the resin. The detail, is, the detail is good in in those resin. Yeah, the new smooth the flow stuff is really, really nice. nice. And you, we yeah. use a different resin. We've it, it's the thing. The whole thing's evolved. Yeah, even the um, even the other resin we use, we're using a much harder one now. It's it's mm -hmm. everything's yeah, we're improving and that's and that improvements will continue. We're never gonna stop. Yeah. The technology uh, gets better. Uh, yep. Yeah. And and we gotta keep up to date with it. We wanna make better and better toys. Mm. Um and you know the, the the problem with these things you can't leave them alone. They just No great, no no no. You just it's like when you give a yeah. when you give a gamer a pot of paint he has to shake yeah. it, isn't he? You, yeah. You put a little tank in front. Yeah. And they're still gotta work that turret even around. though these these new ones that are coming into that they're they're really big. If you've not played Team Yankee and you've only played Flames, they're getting big. They still got that cuteness factor, haven't they? They still got yeah. a matchbox car feel to them. Yes. That makes you want to just pick them up. You know, as part of me wants to kit bash one of these with actually running road wheels one day. Yes. But I'm not that good a modeler. But I'd love one. That'd be quite cool, wouldn't it? So as we've touched on Flames of War, this time last year you were talking about things that we could expect in 2024. And there were some big words that you were using, Peter. Yes. One that the community never stops talking about is Pacific. So let's let's talk about that one briefly. See so where we are with that while you grab well, your Pacific's notes. Pacifics is coming out. Let me grab my, let me get it right. Yeah. I, I think I know when it is. Uh, Pacific is coming out in February. In February 25. Yes. Yeah. So but it, you've got a date now. All right. Yes. And I know because it's it's a funny thing. It's a very different war, the Pacific, and it's not a tank war. No, it's not. It's very much an infantry and, and, and a war of ambush and yes. so forth. But the company level of flames does suit that scale of operation, but it is a very different game to play. And it's important to do it right, too. It's, it's not going to be a lot of plastic. We're not making specific plastic for it because it's not. You know, we're focusing on Clash of Steel, early war, uh, team, team Yankee infantry yeah. and all that sort of stuff. So we had yeah. to make some choices. Yeah. And um, yeah, it just is a fact of life. We can't make everything. In and you've got to make a choice about, well, we could do Pacific in plastic infantry five years from now, but I don't think people will wait that long. Correct. Yeah. That's the other thing. That is, is the other point wars, of that. Pe people have got 
you know, I'm sick of waiting for early war, let alone <laughs> everyone yeah, yeah, else. Yeah. And I, I, but I, I felt that we had to do it right. Yeah. And early war deserved it. Pacific war deserves it as well. But it had somebody had had to take a back seat. Yeah. Yeah. And that you know, if there's four seat seats in the car, there's only two in the front. Yes, and absolutely. I, I, yeah, so Pacific is, but we still made a lot of effort. We're going to bring out all the battlefield in the box stuff again, the Pacific War battlefield right. in the box so stuff. So you can make those those jungle Tables, battlefields yeah. that you need. Yeah, yeah. it's okay. a gorgeous book, uh, mm-hmm. and we've expanded it too. So we've got uh, three army deals coming out: the Japanese Naval Infantry Army deal, mm-hmm. the Marine Rifle Company Army deal, and the British Rifle Company Army deal. So the British, oh, you is all, and yeah, so the British are all new. Right. All those are new figures and everything else. So, um, so that's a whole new part of the Pacific War we're doing. Right, but this is going to be metal infantry and mostly resin vehicles, presumably. Yes, correct. And yeah. um, and the British Desert War infantry are not suitable. Is the uniform different? I can't tell you. Sorry, no. we made new figures for it. You made new figures for it. You yeah. know that much, yeah? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe they didn't fight in their shorts in Burma. I don't know. Sure. I can't tell you. I know we might. Uh, there was a reason for it. I can't remember. It's that long ago. Yes, I can't. Yeah. Sorry. But, but there is going to be new infantry that come I? with that. Yes, you've, you've got a lot of questions today. Yeah. And some of these things you agreed a year ago, right? Yes, with, that's uh, the problem. The, yeah. Yes. Studio time and release time are, two, yeah. are very far apart. Yes. Yeah. So that that specific, we know where that is. We know that book is coming out yeah. uh, for those that are waiting for it, which is great. So early, well, the big news for the Flames of War fans coming soon. Yes, June 2025. Now, it's not tomorrow, it's not okay. absolutely soon, but it is coming and it's done, I have to say, it's done right. And because if, mm. you, can look he- if you look here, there's two of the tanks here. Yeah. Shall I, uh, in my Ooh. tiny hands, I'll grab these. This is the R35. Renault R35. Yeah. Um, and these, uh, some of the Italians had these at Salerno, I think, yes. in Sicily. Yes, I think they, um, they modified the gun, We'll, I think. we'll yeah. talk that a little bit. No, I picked yeah. up the wrong one. Um, and Samoa. And this is the Samoa, which is the, the people's choice, of the, the better of the French tanks in terms of serviceability. Oh, I like the Charby. You like the Charby because it's yeah. big yeah, and it it's wins. Big. Yeah, and it's got a big gun. And it yes. wins. Okay, great. These and Charles are, these the Gaul drive them. These are so big. I thought the Panzer II was small. Well, you I'm, see the Panzer I. This is probably the length of the Puma. Probably very yeah, similar proportions. I, yeah, I think you're about right. Um, if with, not even a bit shorter. <laughs> yeah. Um, so with this then, you, you mentioned this last time, you said it a few times on camera about you wanted to do early war, you want to do it right. You're talking yeah. about we have to, we had to do it right. That was a choice. We could have brought out a lot of stuff again, done all that, and we said, no, let's start from scratch. Yeah. And the important thing is we're bringing out 20 plastics. So if you just look at the French, you've got these two here, you've got the Char B in plastic and the Panhard. As Which well is as that, armored you, car. And as well as that, you've got uh, anti-tank guns in plastic, mm-hmm. the 47 mil if my memory serves me right, right. and the artillery in plastic, mm-hmm. artillery crew, and the infantry in plastic. Right. So, so you can play a French army entirely in plastic. I think you can, yes. And I only think. if you want very specialist subsets would you need yeah. to look at resin or metal. Yeah. And, then an, and that's the case with every army, right? In everybody's yeah. range of every company in the world. Yes. Or, you know, at some point you become marginal enough, you have to look at alternatives. Well, we can't. Oh, well, it'll be June two more years if you want to do more. So yeah. That's, yeah. You, you've got to put a line in the sand and actually mm. sell something, right? That's a, you spend all the money and you've got to one mm. day actually sell some something. Yes. So the Germans get the, if you want to see, if you think that's more, wait to see the Panzer One. Right. But the Panzer One kit's the really cool one because that's got the 47mm Panzer One Jaeger. And it's also got the command Panzer one. The Berg Panzer. Uh, yeah. No, Panzer Berg Schwag. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody will tell us. Um, yeah. yeah, I can't say it. But it's got everything in there. They've got the 38T where it's got coming. Again, lots more plastics. The British, of course, we're doing Blitzkrieg first. It's got the 18 pounder and, of course, their, their light tanks and everything mm. else coming. So at least 20 plastic things coming out and which includes plastic artillery plastic, plastic artillery art- crew yes plastic infantry yes and three yeah, or four vehicles for yes. those three major factions yeah four ve- i think it's uh the english get three vehicles the other two get four plus guns plus infantry but the mm. british also have the 
uh, stuff from the mid mid war. That's which can be yes. uh, yeah. Back, so, back so basically, it's full and you know start, there'll be a lovely starter set, army deals, everything else. So early war will be. Oh, it's, it's much bigger than any other period when we started it. It's going to be a plastic period from day one, and that's why it's taken so long. You know, we, you know, it, you know, you're talking about two years worth of sculpting to get to where we want mm. to get to with us. So yeah. even with, and we've had to bring in other sculptors and other things, and of course, then mm. you've got to. You know, Will's really good, but you can't just use anyone. We have a battlefront style and a battlefront technique. So it, it right. just, it takes what it takes. Because um, mm -hmm. when you scale these models down, you have to do things like overscale the guns and the tracks, yes, or they're just and, too and, small. And, and the and vents rivets and, and the air rivets and all that sort of stuff. Because yeah. people want to see them and people want to be able to paint them as well. Yeah. You've got to have surfaces to paint. Yeah. And so you have to make choices about the house style is just exactly where you choose to make those accents. And you can't have two different tanks with different style. No. That's they no. gotta be we've got to pick our style and stick with it because no. that's what you you want your army to look like one. And that I think is one of the things that makes plastic infantry so important. In every metal figure range I've ever handled from any company, they don't all look one of them's hands are a little bit too big or nose is a bit too big whereas when you get a big chunk of plastic figures made at the same time they, they've got that consistency forever the same designer designed Correct. them all you know but it, we're lucky with evan he's worked for battlefront for more than 20 years now right so our lead stuff has been metal stuff has been really good and and consistent i think it was when we've had but the problem is we want we want to release more than our sculptors can do. So you get other sculptors, and then that's where we've had the issues, really. Right. Yeah. I think is uh, you know we've had we employed great sculptors, but not always the same. They don't always. They're going to make artistic choices. When, yeah. Because it's those overscaling and and things, isn't it? They've, yeah. You know, to scale a wrist is negligible on a fifteen mil miniature, yeah. but you need to see it in the model. Yes. Yeah. As opposed to having a float in hand. But are we really excited about early mm. war? I know everyone wants it sooner. There's a lot of groaning out there. I groan whenever I mm. see how long things will take and how much they cost. But I, I think the important thing is when it comes, it'll come. I am absolutely certain that it'll come right. And we're not gonna we're not gonna see a cheeky early one in World of Tanks with seventeen or something like that. And just a sneak peek of an early war tank. Maybe I that... don't know. I that's something we haven't really okay. covered yet. I, um, so World of Tanks is still a bit you know, we're yeah. This we'll is come to this World is our Tanks. focus here, yeah. the World of Tanks, really. Right. Not that not part that. of it yeah. yet. But we, we've sometimes seen models previewed, is the only reason. When they'll oh, come in I World think... of Tanks early. And no, you, I think you know, early war, no, I think early war is going to be coming it, as early war. As early war, as its yeah. own thing. Yes, I think it's, uh, yeah, it is its own thing. And uh, it's a really lovely, it, for me, it's one of my favorite, that Blitzkrieg, mm. France 1940 period is still my mm. favorite World War II period. And it's just critical that we did it right. And I think we're... We've done that. I really, hmm. I'm very happy with these little things. You, you've always, and off camera, Pete has always been very, when we talk, you're very excited about early war. Yes, I am. So to, to, it, with the early war, I know it's June and things can change, but presumably, like other Battlefront releases, we can expect a two-player versus set, yes. and then army deals for each of the principal yes. factions. The first one is going to be the, the, the war in France, the six yeah, weeks. 1940, yes. And then the down the great. line, we're going to see Barbarossa or something Barbarossa. similar. Similar. and Poland. We're going to do. Are Poland. you going to do Poland? Now, how much plastic Poland will have? I'm not sure because you know there is a lot of plastic. You've got mm -hmm. to make again. Yeah, I yeah. keep saying it. We've got to make choices, but uh, certainly Barbarossa. Winter and, War. Someone's going to ask. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do. There'll be a figure war. range for it for yes. those that want now, it. Whether it's plastic or not, that's another yeah. matter. But some but, of the stuff from Barbarossa is yeah. going to work in yes. that. Correct. Yeah. So I think. Um, our intention is the main the main factions, the main countries will have all plastic and infantry. Mm. But again, you know, this is done by Alish, who works for us full time and makes plastic inf infantry. But you know, we've got them working weekends now as well. Um, <laughs> to so, keep up with what you're yeah, doing, the, yeah. that, that is the issue, and right. it's just not an easy proposition. For Fifteen mil infantry figures are. In our style, they're hard work, and mm. they take what they what they take. 
But I, I think everyone, everyone wants it now, but we all agree with you, Peter. We'd rather you did it right than did it tomorrow. Correct. You yeah. know, and sometimes tomorrow is too far away, like with Pacific. I said, look, you're going to release us something. Yes. It might not be everything we want, but we're going to get it for version four. Yes. Yeah. But if we can, we'll wait. Yes. Get it, get it, you know, of the quality. Um, and then in terms of the rules for it, because we haven't had early war version four. We, people have got early, the play early war, play v V3 or earlier. Yeah. One of my concerns about early war, and you see this in when you play mid war a little bit, is things like the low firepower of a lot of the units. Yeah, well, yes, is there going to be some some changes? Yes, there, there are to make the game. If you play Team Yang, I don't want to play. Things a game blow with... up when you hit them. Correct. And if you play mid war, things the the tank is disabled, then they get back in. Then it's disabled, then they get back in. And early war was even worse. And early war's going to be ping, worse. Ping, 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 ping. It's twenty mil guns and fifteen yeah. mil guns on yeah. vehicles, right? So we have tweaked. Early They're going to push war. up some of those firepower. We have indeed to make the game. We play have better. indeed, and we've done lots of other things and a huge amount of play testing is going into it. Right. And I'm comfortable with it now. I I don't want to play a game where things don't get knocked out. You've got to have a you, yeah. you've got to have an end time in it. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's a, uh, we've taken that on board. That's a lesson from the first time early war. Yeah. And uh, um, and there's still a bit of that. It's not yeah, it's not late war where everything brews up. And they and are low firepower vehicles, yes, correct, but they were they maybe too low. Yes, it was too and, low, yes. Yeah. So we are fixing that. I think it's a good, it'll be a good, fast, great game again. Mm -hmm. um, um, and I, you know, we need to, yes, we, we have to do that. Yeah. There's lots of that sort of stuff good. with that we've done in there. Because if I had a concern about it, it was like it would take a long time to play out. So, yes, correct. Um, yeah, I'm really that. heartbroken, Peter, that you, there's been no reference to motorcycle infantry here. So I'm not I'm not going to stop staying. Early war motorcycles in all the movies. The, I agree. Uh, even if it's just the German motorcycle and sidecar as a as an objective marker or something. Going to give us a BMW motorbike. So. Yes, the motorbikes will be in there. You will be will in see, there. You will see my motorbikes. You heard it here. Yeah. All right. Okay. So we'll see. If I don't get invited back next year, it means they're not in the release. <laughs> they will be in the release. <laughs> That's all next year. I can't believe that we're going to go from what was the back end of the Berlin release to June next year without seeing anything from Flames of War. Well, you are. You've got. What are we going to? Uh, what, what's what's coming in the next six to twelve months? Well, September, of course, is Market Garden. Ah. So got some more, and that's thanks to you. That was last year that you told me we should about, do these. About 21st. Yeah, you should do these. You should do these again. Yes, that's what I, he told me. He just, uh, just there you go. And I did me. appreciate the name check in the yeah. Christmas message. Yeah. yeah. What we like to call your State of the Union address. State of the Union, Christmas time, yes. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so I think they have been, uh, once we thought that's a good idea and yeah. that we just did it, we had to do do them. And so uh, we're bringing out new ones in market for Market Garden. And this will be in this stuff, because these, I'm right, these are limited release, right? This limited is a release. release. Get it while you can. Yeah. Because if it's not, we can't keep these things in stock no. forever. You've it's already just, got a lot of products. Yes, it's just code creepers. Yeah. Something. So there's going to be something similar for Market Garden. Yes, and something similar for Bulge as well. The month later, mm -hmm. no, uh, for, sorry, September, then December, of course, is Bulge. Mm -hmm. And you've got, you know, winter infantry and all those things, the winter paratroopers and yep. all that stuff coming Bastown. out for Bulge as well. Yep. Great. So, the, the, with, and what, so there'll be books and, and boxed release. It's a limited edition for that? Yes, correct. No, Fair no right. books, sorry. The books, no are, books. the books still work. The books are still right. The books, right. Yes. So, Bulls German or yep. whatever. Yes, but yep. just, just those things there. The mm. other thing, of course, is a um, there'll be a new starter set, which will be late in the year or starting next year called Fortress Europe. Right. And that, but we've reprinted. I know Hit to, Hit the Beach, we wanted to do this sooner, and but we wanted to run out of Hit the Beach first, but we've reprinted hit the right. beach to make it all work so that the reprints is so the on, on the way. Because those two player starter sets are being discontinued, yes. presumably to be replaced with other yes. equivalents down yep. the line with new concepts. So hit the beach is going to be replaced with Fortress Europe. Right. But that one's been reprinted because of the D-Day release. Yeah, hit the beach has been reprinted. Well, basically because we just couldn't get it in the production soon enough. Yeah. yeah so we've had to, re we've, well, we've, we want to keep starter sets in, in stock. Mm. Obviously they're the, yeah, the recruitment tool. So we've got yeah. Hit the Beach being reprinted. 
Right. But that will eventually be replaced by uh, Fortress Europe. Right. So the question I would have from the from the people out there, the collect the people with the existing collections, the infantry sprue in there is is uniquely in that box. Yes. Because and that's the only plastic US paras you have. Yes. Will that sprue be available in a box somewhere? I know it's, I it's a mixture know, of German, a and idea. but because they're hard plastic para, they look quite. They look a bit different to yeah. the metal ones. Yes, and a lot of people have got a lot of those. Well, that's a good idea for. Uh, we should do that for market garden, shouldn't we? We should. I should. You look can do it for that. market garden or all bulge. We should look into they're that. there, yeah. US paras again. Yes, we should look into. But that. it's a that's great spread. Good idea. Every year is a very good idea. Well, I'm looking for a job, really. Okay. Anyway, um, <laughs> product development. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, a good idea. No, we didn't. It's not in the plan currently, but maybe we should put that out, even if it's only direct or something. Rather, we should. I think definitely... people will want to be able yeah. to get that spur again. Good idea. All right. Um, so that that takes us flames of war then into in the new year, and then we'll start seeing the early war stuff. Yep. Great. Uh, uh, the before the early war stuff, there's one other release. Oh. And we did the D D Day. Yes. Complete book. We're doing the same with Bagration. Oh, the the com, the com, the big multi yes. all the books from that release yes, in a single one yes. with some added with some added units and armies. Which you and put stuff. your late wall of that or whatever yeah. it, the the yeah. the funnies or equivalents. Yeah. Nice. Okay. I want to talk a bit about cards as well. We've had problems with cards and stuff. Command cards. Command cards and unit cards. We're mm -hmm. stocking them. There's a huge amount of products. Mm. One of the issues we got: no shop can stock everything. Yeah. So the plan going forward is that unit cards will be with every release. We will print unit cards. We're not going to reprint them. It'll be a one and done. One and done. But and but that. if you look at like the D-Day big book, mm -hmm. the new D-Day army, the campaign book. Yeah. In there, it's got a code in there, which you mm -hmm. scan and you get the complete forces download. For, the online, for your online platform. Yep. Including printing the cards. Right. So you get everything in there, including a PDF of the book as well. Mm -hmm. So everything's available. So yes, if you want the cards, you need to be there on release because we just can't keep everything in stock yep. all the time. Yeah. And, and, and I can tell you as a vendor, uh, the problem with those things is actually if they don't sell on release, you're probably hanging on for it to a lot of them correct, for a long time. And they end up on Dusty and they end up in the back corner somewhere of a shop and no one can find them. And then, yep. and then of course, the ones that everyone wants sell out and yeah. then because they're hard to predict how many to get of each mm. um, so they're going to be a f in future they're going to be a finite upon release print. get the card pack if you want now to be fair they're also, they're not expensive and they are a game aid no, they're not yes. required for the game now i know that might but to make sure and that's coming out shortly but all the ca we will, we're going to reprint all the cards once again for everything you've done so far? Yes. Right back to mid-war? Yes, everything. Once again, mm -hmm. there's a complete reprint. All, all stockers can get it. Everyone can get it once right. more. And when it, But when it runs out, it's mm -hmm. digital only. Yeah. So if you're missing your Italian mid-war paras... They're coming. They, 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 they'll you're going to be able to get them. You've got a yeah. chance to get them, get them. And then... Um, but, got, but when the book next book comes out, if you buy the next book... We can either just buy the forces, or if you buy the book, you get the free forces, and that's the lovely bonus I really yeah. like, because yeah. the book's lovely to have. You put it yep. on the shelf, and forces works mm. on your phone. You can print out all your unit cards, print out your army, print out your unit cards. You've got everything mm. you need. Yeah. And that's been the big improvement, I think. Yeah. Or if you're young, you don't have to print anything out and just look it up on your iPad. We've got our but better, we print it out. We've got our better eyes. Than yeah, yes, yeah, absolutely. Yes, yes. Yeah. Command cards and everything's included in that free download. download. Great. All right. We just had a short break there where we move a few things around because we're going to talk about Team Yankee now. Indeed. I've got new bits of paper. New, new bits of paper. Sorry. This is ready with all the answers, though, to, to, to what I hope are your questions. And it's trying to be as comprehensive as possible in covering all of the major games. So we, we talked a bit about Clash of Steel and, 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 and so forth and some of those things that are... We're still not at the point with Clash of Steel where we're seeing things that would be used in Team Yankee, but presumably we will get to that point. I think it's more the other way around. Team Yankee, early Team Yankee stuff will be used in Clash of Steel. Right, I think like it's M60s more, or something. Yes, M60s, Chieftains, uh, M48s. Is an M48 here? I think the M, that's one thing that will go the other way from right. um, 
from a um, clash of steel that's usable in yeah, Team Yankee. And you're going to see that introduced into armies and stuff right. is the M48. And that's something has been asked for a lot. Mm -hmm. The other thing for Team Yankee, of course, is Checkpoint Charlie. With the M4 you're going to see some crossover in Checkpoint Charlie, mm -hmm. uh, which is the, I suppose, Team Yankee World War Three early period, I suppose, which is the same points the system is used in Fate of a Nation and um, and NAM. So right. it's the same point system, and you're going to see M48s and all that sort of stuff come in mm. there. So an M, uh, if you take a, uh, what do we got here? Say a Leopard 1. I'm just was looking at a Leopard 1. A there was ago. a Leopard 1. Yeah. First one nearest to me. Are those three? That's there one. it is. Yes, there it is. One. And you, it's a the, very early lap. The sharp-eyed person might recognise a different barrel and stuff on this one because it's a, it's a slightly different level of one. But you'll see this in. This will be worth more points in Checkpoint Charlie than it will be in World War Three Team Yankee because because it's, it's a brand new tank in Checkpoint yeah. Charlie, whereas quite an old one in Team Yankee. Correct. So think yeah. of like Tigers in mid war compared to Tigers yeah, in yeah. late war. Yeah. So that's a similar thing. So that period. So you're going to see some feed into things like Checkpoint Charlie. Mm -hmm. uh, Checkpoint Charlie comes out in uh, October next year. Right. Oh, so we are going to get a book for that. Yes, with, we're definitely getting a book with a whole release. Repointed. Yes. Right. So pointed, okay. pointed in the name, fate of the nation, period. Yes. Fits within that family of, of settings. Yes. Great. But the big news for Team Yankee, of course, is long anticipated hard plastic infantry. Correct. And this is, yeah, this has just been great. So we've got, well, we've got four sprues here um, and we've got two Soviet sprues. Correct. Yep. So the... On here, I'm just having a quick count there, four, ten. It's about 20 guys on this one, and this is your rifle sprue. Motor rifle. Which, which is going to make most of your yeah. infantry types. And then a weapon sprue. This really, I was really pleased to see this. I, I, was, I was concerned that we'd get the riflemen, but for our sort of mortars and our gremlin teams, we'd need to use that no, side. You can't. You can't it's all that. there. You can't do Well, I mean, that. you can. But you can't. People do, but you're doing it right. We've got to do it right, yeah. Um, so this is all of it. And there's some clever design cues on here. So like the tripods and some of the missiles, like the gremlins, are separate so that they're going to cast well and they're going to cast cleanly. They're going to cast cleanly. We've tried to, in our period, is not have, um, not have things that multi-part 15 mil should not one 100 scale should not be multi-part but some things have to be to make mm. the make the molds look great and make the figures look great so yes. make the molds work and the figures look great yeah so. but this is this is a this is a tiny level of construction yeah. this is yeah. a tripod with a hole yeah. and a barrel with a pin yeah. on it and they're yeah. nice big bits they're not fiddly bits they're yes nice. that's that's important as well yeah, absolutely. Especially in a Soviet army where you need lots of it. Yeah, and especially like these weapon teams come on those big artillery bases, yes. don't they? Yes. Um, they really, you really get a sense of mass with the Soviet force. Um, and then for the uh, Americans, we've got two sprues here, one of which is labelled as, a, as, a, as an infantry and the other as marines. I mean, it looks like, I, mean, I think the uniform is the same, Yes. but there are different weapon options here. And it's about how you package them so there will be a marine box and a mechanized infantry box and they'll have a mix of the different sprues in them so so allow you to build the right type of yeah. teams and it, it is a jigsaw puzzle we're trying to get we're trying to do as much plastic as possible and keep the cost down so mm. it's kind of you're trying to you do this jigsaw puzzle and not have too many sprues in a box because that brings the price up as well so mm. it's this jigsaw puzzle and you end up with solutions like this so I think in the marine box you end up with more more marine bases than and vice versa. I'm not. Yeah. I can't remember. Yeah. Really but you're, mix, you're but going to use these two sprues yeah. in combination to make. Yes. Whether you're yeah mech infantry or marines or, marines, or whatever. And yeah. um, we're not. There's no British here. British will come. We because will I've painted there. my metal British. <laughs> Well, the British will come, and West Germans, they're the next two on the list. So, yeah. um, yes, now we're going to do it all in hard plastic. Eventually, all infantry ranges will be like these ranges, will be in hard plastic. Right. Yeah. But, I, again, it's just time. But we'll be old men before we see sort of plastic Syrians, right? Older men. Hmm. Certainly discussed with British and West, West Germans. So. British and West Germans, yep. yeah. 
Um, and I'm not a big uniform guy. Are these use these Soviet uniform types? Are the Warsaw Pact uniforms the same? These ones here, yeah. I, I'm not. Yes, I think they are. But I also like think the we need a yes. Uh, well, the East German, of course, is the not common one. Yes, because that needs its own work. So that yeah, it's there's nothing simple in history, is what we've learned. Um, that's what makes it great, is its yeah. its complexity and depth. Mm. But you know, it'd be much nicer if the East Germans just used Soviet gear, but they didn't. So that no, they didn't. It'd be much better for a. And when you make the infantry, are they all going to be a bit hench because they're all roided up in that? You know, <laughs> <laughs> I've watched Rocky. I know that's what they do, right? Yes, they work on that machines and they take steroids. Yes, <laughs> there's also a World War Three new starter, complete. New starter set, new... Which is going to incorporate the infantry. Incorporate the infantry here. Right. So it's uh, Americans versus Soviets. Yeah. Uh, M1s and a Bradley Mick, Mick platoon with plastic infantry versus T-80s and a BMP's uh, shock motor rifle company. So that's the top of the line ones, the shock yeah. ones, and that'll be the BMP-3s. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And that we will likely to see that quite soon. Presumably, I think out. that's on pre-order. Actually, is I think it is. Yes, I think it is. Yeah, I think that's due. Um, let me just check this here. Sorry, um, that's due very soon, August. August. Yeah, and these infantry are coming out in August as well as separate, as separate boxes. Yes. Right. So the, it, yeah, if you've already got a load of Bradleys or whatever, you just want to get the hard plastic infantry. It's available. Correct. In in August. Great! So the other thing with Team Yankee, so there's mm. three avenues, this is Checkpoint Charlie, new starter set, new plastic infantry, mm -hmm. and there's one more book coming out. There's another book coming out? Yes, which will be between the starter set and Checkpoint Charlie, and it's coming out in January. And that will be? The IDF. The IDF! Israeli Defense Force. and So we've got M60 in plastic. Yes. And we've got a Macarver in plastic. Yes. Are we getting anything anything new to, to, to fill that out? Macarver 3. Macarver 3. Okay. Yeah, Is that like a 1970s, 80s one? Yes. I'm not, yeah. Yeah, okay. I think it's... And is that yeah, the no, I'm one gonna they... Be, we're going to be corrected on this, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, they'll I, know. They'll I, know, yes. and they'll tell us. Tim upstairs, if he was here, he'd tell me now, but I can't remember. Yeah, but we're doing the Macarver 3. And is that the one that they make into an armoured personnel carrier? Yes. And is that an option on Sprue? Um, or is that a trick question? That's a trick question, yes. I, I'm, I can't answer that one, sorry. No, and it'd be late in the day to make that change if it yes. was. <laughs> yeah, no, no, we, we, I do know about that, and I, yeah, I can't. It's been so long ago we've approved this, I can't, I can't. Right. Sorry, folks, I can't remember. see the 3 in plastic. Yeah, it's a cool looking tank. It really yeah. is. And it's distinctive. Yes, it is yeah. very distinctive. Co they use Cobras as well, I think. So yes, quite, we've, got you all, can feel we've got all the Right, so you can get a, a pretty much plastic is IDF army together. Yes. Presumably the infantry will be in metal. Yes, at this stage, yes. At this stage, it's going yes. to be in metal. But that you're expecting around January. Yes, that will be in January. The book's written. Um, mm. But the thing is, I think I think the Macarver 3 Infantry has a resin piece to go with it to make it for the infantry fighting vehicle, I think. I, okay. I, 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 but yeah. He's not committing to anything yeah, here. Be, this, I can't, I can't remember everything, yes. Yeah. But the um, that's um, oil wars. That's taking out... Um, the Israeli out of oil wars, basically giving them their own book. Of course, the right. oil wars, Israeli is still relevant, but if you play Israelis, you're going to want the new book and the new mm. new stuff. And will we see, a bit like for the Swedish, will we get a Team Yankee, Yankee Army box on a yes. limited run? Yes, it'll yeah. be a limited run, yes. Yeah. So if you want that when it comes out, and it'll heavily feature the new tank, yeah. presumably. Well, yes, that's what yeah. people want, isn't okay. it? That's what we want. Yeah, great. Uh, well, that, that one caught me off guard. I didn't know about that one. I want to take a moment, Peter, if I may, to talk about the availability of Army Boxes and the future. Can we just finish on Team Yankee one oh, more yeah. thing? Can yeah, I sorry. button? Yeah, yeah. Uh, dynamic points. We brought them oh, out just recently. Dynamic points for Team Yankee. Yes, yes. we brought them out. This is an, this is the trial period. It's a, mm -hmm. We've decided not to... I, I know this. You should have done this. You should have done that. I've been reading on the Facebook pages and stuff. But And I... Don't disagree with lots of the comments, but Facebook pages are a troll hole, though. So you can't no, get... they're good too. There's a lot of yeah. good people. There is some. There is yeah. I, some of it you try to ignore. Yeah. But uh, there is a lot of good stuff on there, and I think there's 
it's a way we get good feedback and commentary mm. and stuff and quality control and customer service comments and stuff. So, yeah, I, we read it um, and we do follow up. And sometimes you wonder why people are writing stuff, but some t a lot of the time they're right. So, yeah, yeah I yeah. think it is. Yeah. Yeah. And it's good that you're not precious about your product. Some developers are very much like, no, that's the way we've decided to do it. You know? I can always do it better. Y yeah. We can always do it better. You can always right? do it better. Yeah, I yeah. think we can, yeah. I, and I think we are our own worst critics at time. Uh, you know, when we see something, oh, we should have done that. And no one else, or we could have done this too. We could. But it is, you've got to also sell it at yeah. some stage. So. And it needs to be what people want, whether you like it or not. It's got to be, it's got to fit in. We got to, I, I, I still think, yeah, don't sell fish you wouldn't eat yourself. Right. And I still think that's the one of the core rules of this game. Mm. But to go back to dynamic points, we mm. didn't want to adjust too many dials. So we yeah. did the heavy tanks, we did some AA, and we did the hind, but we didn't want to hit too many dials at the first stage. It's only for the... Because we do dynamic points on mid-war at the end of the year, end of mm. each year. We've done it twice now. We're going to do it at the end of this year again. Yeah. So the first... And the community like it. The I dynamic points. I'd use it. The, yeah, yeah. And that's yeah. The, they, well, yeah, no, if they didn't like it, they wouldn't use it, right? Correct. I use it. I, yeah. I think they're, uh, I think we've learned a lot. And I think, uh, and I think they're also really good for new players, because especially in mid-war, a new player goes to a convention, he gets it's hammered by, by someone. Something and, that's pointed wrong. And a bit wrong, unfairly. Really, yeah. He's still yeah. going to, they're still going to lose, yeah. probably, because a good player, experienced player is still a very good player. Mm. But at least, they've got a fair chance and yes. i think that's really important yeah. in to give everyone a fair chance and dynamic points gives them a bit fairer chance yeah and i think that's and it gives them and a fairer chance is a better experience and that's what we're after yeah so you've done with team yankee presumably what you did with the first wave with the mid-war was to look at those really high costed vehicles that people don't use correct and you've just dropped the points down a little bit brought the points down and yeah. uh it's like challenges for the british there's just so many points you well, just don't get clerk. we made them right. you made the clerk yeah and of course you, you look how it compares to everything else and it's got to be that points but i wouldn't take it for that points no so we've had to um it's a beautiful tank. We want people to take them and, <laughs> and use them, and, use them yeah. and, and have a fairer, better, mm. more balanced yeah. game. The only balancing point should not be the way you construct the army, should be just points. Right. That should be the sole balancing point, I yeah. feel. Yeah. Combined arms is obviously very important, but the balancing, the mm. points should be balanced, yes. Yeah. So and I'm excited about that and just reminding people that we are going to do it again at the end of the year, mid-war and Team Yankee, then it'll be done for the following year. And you plan you plan going forwards as like a as like a living, or you think they'll re you'll reach a point when you can you can bank it and say, look, we're going to lose that. I'm not convinced that we'll ever reach that point. There's always no. room for improvement. I yeah. think that's I think it's going to be an annual living thing. Yes. Yeah. And living points is, in a digital age, is the way forward. And, and I completely agree. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah, great. Um, so that that's Team Yankee. Actually, there was a lot yeah. there. Um, just leaning back and looking back at hands. I wanted to talk about like the army deal available. I, I know a lot of the two player starter sets have been like at their end of run now, and there'll be new ones coming yes. down the line with different contents to reflect new yeah. product. Army deals in the UK, their availability fluctuates, and I know some were limited. Yeah. So we had the like the VDV last yes. year and the Swedish. Yes. Um, but as a punter, it's not clear whether it's a limited run or not, and, and which ones will be available sort of eternally, and which ones what. So of the, I don't know, of the of the American Army deals, if I want to get into it now, and I look at it, and I look at a supplier, they'll offer me three different boxes, but two of them will be out of stock. And we don't know whether they'll come back in stock. Is the intention all of those Army deals are ongoing products? No, the, we can't keep every army deal as ongoing products. The main ones, like the uh, the main ones, like the U.S. tank units and stuff, and the German tank companies, should be ongoing. So, how do you know which ones are ongoing, which ones not? Right, and which ones I should I should like if my hobby dollars this year 
if I want this box, I need to buy that one. I'm just wondering if you could start putting a sort of limited run sticker on some boxes. I think we have done that on the, the where do we do that on? I thought we did the that Swedish on the Swedish one was the one that was yeah. made, I think it was clear from maybe the, the marketing brochure that it yeah. was a limited run. And also, I think the D-Day new book, the catalog is a separate product. Mm. It's it's wrapped up with it, and it shows there what's limited run and what's not. It shows you those in there as limited yes. run. Yes. Yeah. Um, and I think we got to be clearer. The other thing that's happening, which I think will help a lot, is in the first or second week of August. I can't remember the date. I think it's the fifth or something or the eighth. Mm -hmm. We're launching the new website. Right. So because your website web is massive. <laughs> it is massive and it's groaning and the new so this it's gonna be split into two websites. One's the retail sales website and the other one's the hobby web, web website. Right. So content, the shop will content. be on cluttered. Yeah. But you'll still be able to look at the product and click and it'll take you yes, to the Yes, it'll spotlight. go backwards and forwards and all that sort of stuff. Your yes. your after sale support in that respect is fantastic. There isn't another company like it. No, no, we've got it. I, it's a, it's a if, hobby. If I put this sprue number into yeah. your website, I will get build instructions, paint guides, all sorts of things. All that, and it should be actually even better. The, 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 the website is old and groaning, and we should have changed it a while ago. So the new content website should do all that stuff even better. Right. That's but you'll been, still, there'll still be direct link from the product correct, to the instructions. Absolutely. Everything should tie in to the product code. Yeah. You put in the product code, Everything should tie into that. That's been one of my mm. sort of sounding boards right from day one. It's the product yeah. code. You you get your box, you read the product code on it, and uh, yeah, and that will tell you. You go, you put that in there into mm. the search, and it will f give you hopefully everything you need. And yeah. I still test that quite often. I grab a box and throw it in there, and yeah, throw the so because that's something. It if you just type Sherman into your website, you may not find the product because there's no. a lot of pages about Sherman. There's Correct. a lot of and, content. And, that's and part it's of great the stuff. It's great stuff. And you don't want to lose it. No. Because I, I think you're like me. You love going down those rabbit holes. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the doom scrolling. Oh, yeah, this, yeah. this, this, yeah. this, you know, and the sun sets and the days move on. Yeah. yeah. I, and that's great. But you got to, you also, when you've got your fingers and glue and everything or paint, you want something I, I want quick. to find the build instructions for yeah, this. Quick, yeah, quick, yeah. So yeah. that's the kind of, yeah, and I think we'll do that a lot better. But it's a very good point. You know, what, what will remain as core product and what is not core product is yeah. what you're talking about here. And I think yeah. we need, we should be clear on that and hopefully a new web website will fix some of those issues. Yeah. Because it's especially that some of those, especially with those army deals, if you really want that army, you probably want two boxes. Hopefully. And that's, well, I, think, I think you normally, <laughs> to give you the flexibility, yeah. Yeah? yeah? Normally, if I want an army, I want two of those boxes, but it's good to know, it's like, well, I'll buy one now because it's new, but I might not be able to buy the next one. I mean, yeah, if it's German World War II, whatever I want is available later. Yes, correct. But, but with some of those combinations. Anyway, it was just a, just a thing. I think it's that's important. I think also... Um, not, you know, we've got this balance. We want to support our retailers. That's really, our core mm -hmm. business is about retailers. That's where people find out how to play the game, do mm -hmm. things. The web's great and all this and YouTube and everything's great, but it's still, we want to support the, you know, your friendly local gaming store. And mm -hmm. that's really important. And we can't overwhelm them with too many products that, you know, a German Panzer army deal is always going to sell and they should yes. stock that. Yeah. Should they stock? Everything else, you know, and that's the yeah. problem. It gathers dust and it doesn't look great in the shop mm. and it doesn't sell. Yeah. And they've got money tied up in it. All those things are issues, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Well, the Hyborian Adventures of uh, Conan. You've got, the, you've got the Conan license. We've got the master license. We are uh, for games and board games. We have the master license for it. We're really excited about it. We've made our first game. We went to GameFound. Mm -hmm. um, and there's, I can't really talk about it. It's licensed products, so pre-approvals and everything are all. That's how licenses work. Yeah. And but we're really excited about it. About it. But and you, but you can say you are working on games. We are working on in games. the Conan universe. Yes. And there you... will be more for it. Uh, <laughs> we re it's. One right. of the things I'm really excited about. I, I uh, love the, the sword and sword. I, I mean, I really love this cutout that you've got because it's yeah. it's it's 
it, it's the fantasy art from when I was a kid. Yes. This is what it looks like. It's like wizards are the bad guys. Yes. Warrior clearly getting a big sword is the way to deal it. Yes. And how do you deal with magic is just grit your teeth and push towards. I'm right. I can get it in the car. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm really looking forward to that. So you've already got a, a Conan board game that I'm going to yep. have a look at. But yep. that looks like it's more of a worker placement type game. It's not a work and placement game, it's an adventure game, and you, okay. got, you guys are going to play it with Matt Vaughan. Yes, right after this. Um, who's one of our managers here, and you're going to play it with him, and that'll be cool. Mm. Uh, but it is, it's not a work and placement game. Uh, let's see what you think of it. Yeah, it's, okay. I, I'm we'll tell you it. after we've yeah, played tell, it. Uh, yeah, you tell me. So Gale Force 9 is the other kind of, it's a separate company, but it's sort of part of Battlefront in one way or another. I suppose Battlefront has two arms, the GF9 arm, Gale Force 9, which makes board games, lots of other products. Uh, we try to do more mass market products, but it also does all the terrain and yes. clippers, glue. Uh, it's the oh, all your hobby is under Gale Force 9, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, all that stuff's yeah. under Gale Force 9, Battlefield in the box. We've got lots of new Battlefield in the box going. Uh, the Hextech was one recently that came out. That's a Gale Force 9 product. Mm -hmm. uh, World of Tanks is a Gale Force 9 product. Uh, Clash of Steel is a Gale Force 9 product, actually, because mm. we're, we're aiming it more for the general market. Uh, then the Flames of War, World War Three Team Yankee, the 15 mil products, they're more, they're under the Battlefront umbrella, but Gale Force 9 is part of Battlefront as well. So it's yeah. kind of, they're not separate companies, they're the... They're basically the same entity, but the kind of different brands. marketing yeah. branches. Yeah. yeah. So within Gale Force Nine, you mentioned some of those other things. So the uh, that hex tech terrain. I mean, BattleTech's having a renaissance that yes, no, it is. no one could have imagined. That game I thought died thirty years ago, and then Catalyst came along with an army for twenty five quid in a box, basically, yeah. and it's just rocketed from there. Good friend of the channel, Dwayne. Uh, Plastic Crack Gaming uh, works demos games for Catalyst, yeah. so, and it's huge over in Ireland where he is, all over the world. And that hex tech scenery you're doing seems to do extremely well for the people that have bought some. The pro if there's a problem with it, is that it sells out. Is that people can't get it? Uh, can they expect to see re-releases yes, over the you years? You will get more re-releases and more new products coming out. Now, not everything will be re-released. Core products will be, but not everything will be. So you need, to, if you want it, get it when it's out. It, yeah. And it, you know, the painting department in Kuala Lumpur mm -hmm. for Battlefront is under a lot of pressure and uh, to make more and more. But there's only so much they can do. Mm. So it's the it's the battlefield in the box philosophy. I think that. It's kind of, it slows us down. We can't, it's not mass produced. Mm. It is mass produced, but not it's mass It's literally hand painted, it's, this it's stuff, hand right? It's hand painted. Now they use molds and, and stencils, and, stencils and stuff, but it is hand painted. Mm. So it is limited, but the whole idea is you, you paint your army, mm. but you don't have to paint the terrain. Yeah. And the terrain is available so you can focus on your army. And mm. then if you're time poor, yeah. You can uh, uh, then do um, the the battlefield in the box gives you that option. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, are we? Uh, are there any other major games that are in in the pipeline for Gale Force Nine? We've talked. Obviously, there's more waves coming out for World of Tanks. Yes, one can assume some of these things. I yes, the Scorpion, etc. They're yes. gonna. Yeah, yeah. Um, several. If you models. see it here and it's in World of Tanks, it, <laughs> it, it, it will come. It, yes, it, it, it will come. Peter, thank you so much for for your time and. Uh, and it's not just pizza. There's a whole bunch of people here been looking after us, making us coffee. We're going to have a play of uh, the Ad Conan Adventure. And this is out now. This is available now, I think, no, isn't it? It's, or very it's soon. Uh, soonish. Soonish. We're going to ask Matt Vaughan. He's got the date for you. All right. We're going to have a play of this and try this. And, and we're going to have a game of Clash of Steel. Yes. Uh, with the locals. We're going yes. to see if we can beat them. Um, so thanks again, Peter. It's always great to see. You. And we're going to have a curry later. Yes, we're going. We're going out for a curry. And you're going to tell me some tales of the sea as an old fisherman. I don't know about that, but we're going to talk <laughs> more gaming anyway. But l thank you everyone for listening, and thank you guys for coming. I really appreciate it. I think it's uh, it's good to get the word of what we do out there, and I think it helps. So thank you all. And I know that they want to hear it. Yeah. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. 
If you're still here and you're looking for ways to support the channel, there's obviously a lot of ways down in the description, but a key way is to use our affiliate links to Whaling Games and others. You buy your models from them, it doesn't cost you a penny more, and we earn a little bit of commission. Thank you.